Hi everyone, today I'm sharing a process video for pear tree cut files using the Good for the Soul cut file from an older release. I've cut this from craft cardstock and I'm going to use one of the new pear tree stencils, the cobblestone and some of the pear tree pieces also. So I've dug around in my stash and I've pulled out some older One Canoe 2 papers. But first I'm going to add some mixed media to the background. So I've got some white cardstock um, and I'm just working out where I want to put those cobblestones. So I'm using a gold metallic Heidi Swap texture paste um, from a few years ago. It still works perfectly. It's got kind of a, a bit of a matte kind of finish to it. Um, so I'm just adding that at the top and bottom of my layout and then I'm going to have that square of patterned green uh, tree paper that you saw earlier. So I've just used a palette knife to pull some of that texture paste through the stencil and I've popped it to one side to dry and now I'm going to add some stamping to the good and soul words. So I've kept the inner letters and I'm just using some archival inks and this stamp set from Ali Edwards, it's the wild stamp set, um, just to add some stamping over my letters. So I'm picking things that kind of relate to the theme, so I've got the little like branch and then the um, compass and then I pull out the wild and free phrase. So you can't read these particularly when they're on there but I know they're there and they kind of just fit in. So I've used a green colour and then like this plum also and then I just add in some brown on top with this kind of exo pattern just to add some small stamping in the gaps. So to make sure that these stand out from the background, what I'm going to do is just add some brown ink to the edges. So I'm just using like a little dauber tool that fits on the end of my finger just to uh, kind of add that ink to the edges of the, all the letters. And you can already see on that craft mat how they suddenly stand out more, it gives them more definition. So next I'm going to back the walking boots on the cut file in this red tartan patterned paper. So I'm just drawn around the outline and now I'm just cutting it out to fit. So I've used one whole piece to cover both boots. I could have made it really intricate but I just wanted um, that single pit pattern behind them because there's quite a lot going on with the letters and the rest of the layout. So I want this further to stand out a bit more so I'm just using um, a brown felt tip pen with a brush nib just to colour that in. Just distressing the edges of that patterned paper before I add it onto my layout. And now my cobblestone texture paste is dry. I can start layering up for my layout. So I'm going to use these two photos from a walk that I went on uh, last year. There was this beautiful little calf um, around and I managed to take a picture of it. So off camera I do actually stitch through both the, well, the good, the further and the soul. So you will see that pop up shortly. I think it's quite faint but it's there now. It's just in a thin white um, thread. I'm adding in my letters. And you'll see now that they start to stand out against that patterned paper background. So 
So I'm going to use this blue patterned paper to back my photos. Um, I just wanted to pull in a different colour but also it's got all the dots that are all the colours that are already in the layout to kind of pull it all together. And as I've distressed the edge of the larger um, matte piece of paper, I'm going to use do the same thing for the small ones. So I'm just tucking it under the well, the D on the good and the E at the end of the further, so that it kind of feels like it's not just stuck directly on top. I'm going to overlap the bottom photo over the the walking boots. I'm just pulling out some of the stickers, I've got some uh, One Canoe 2 stickers and also some from Amy Tangerine because I like the colours in that. So what I wanted to do is just trim down some of the stickers, there's a lot of white on these stickers um, and I didn't want them to be that bold um, with all the white space so I am just trimming some of it off. and then adding that to my layout. So I do create kind of two particular areas of embellishment um, at the bottom of both photos. I'm just adding some small word stickers under the title and then on this banner above. So again, I'm just trimming down the set flag banner so that there's less white on it and I'm going to use some foam pads just to keep it raised off the back just to create a bit more depth to the layout and whilst it's got the greens in there it's got um, like some orange and some blue so it pulls in uh, those photo mats again So I'm going to add another floral piece in there just under that photo um, and also these little postcard stickers. I want to add this other floral piece in but I'm not sure it quite works with what I was looking at and I do uh, end up just tucking it in above there where I'm fiddling around at now. I'm starting to look at final touches and one thing I do like to add is some small little pieces so um, these new pet tree pieces are perfect for this and I've pulled out the ones that have got the wood grain and the um, chipboard they're like a chipboard and a cork I think and um, they're really uh, cute just adding a bit of a doodle line to tie that background paper in And there is my layout almost complete, but what I do do is just add in a few dots of white Nouveau drops just to kind of add another texture in there. Thank you for joining me today on YouTube. All the pear tree uh, products can be found in the link in the description below and don't forget to uh, check us out on social media for more inspiration.